So, a lot of people assume that when you discover a species, you get to name it, but that's actually not the case. That's missing a middle part called species description, and that is a lot of work. So my friend Maddie just got the opportunity to name a new species. She put a lot of work into it, so we're going to go over and visit her and figure out uh, what is the work that she did and, uh, and how she got to name it. So, let's go. Okay. Hello, Maddie. Hello. So you got to describe, and you are in the process, or what's the, uh, so it's to go out? Maybe? Yeah, yeah. So I have two, or two and a half mm. <laughs> new species. So I've described them, and then I have to, like, pick a name that also like, follows the rules of, like, the nomenclature and all that stuff. Yeah, so let's get into that. There are rules. What are the... Well, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I barely know them. <laughs> Can you name it after yourself? No. 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 You can't, and you can't name it after someone who's affiliated with the project. Okay. Because um, I wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. So if it's just somebody that's maybe in another lab or whatever, that's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people name it after So like me, like, for instance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these are apicophrens? Yes. Yes. So there's mollusca, which are mollusks that so you have like, your snails and your octopus and cephalopods. Mm. And there's... Apicophora, but mm. these are early branching and not many people know them. Mm. They're worm like mollusks. They live between sand grains. So somebody has to go and scoop them. Yeah. That was not you, that correct? That was not me. So no. you did not find this no. thing. And that's I... the point that I'm trying to make is that you don't get to name something. Exactly. Because so, you find it, you have to put in the work to describe it. So These are also off the coast of New Zealand. They had ships and um, collection trawls that went and scooped it up. So like they're broken up into two subclasses. And those are uh, selenogasters and conifoviates. Mm -hmm. These are selenogasters, but these are very um, hard to identify without actually looking at their um, insides because mm -hmm. they're cryptic species, meaning they look exactly the same on the outside. Mm -hmm. So, also, another big thing about these this family specifically is there's um, copulatory spicules on their posterior region mm -hmm. that um, is very. Um, important to figure out what genera it's in or genus it's in mm -hmm. and we didn't have the posterior it was unable to be sectioned so we have to barcode it yeah. so we detracted the dna and we're getting sequences yeah that. so so you just brought up the key word that i want to talk about here what? which is section <laughs> so because you'd think that you maybe could just pop these open like a frog dissection yeah i just you know take a knife yeah split it oh, wow. yeah but these are how small are they <laughs> 35 millimeters yeah and so, yeah, probably very hard to do that. So yeah. you have to have another way to be able to be able to draw that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Here we're gonna go talk about in the scope room yes. what that entails. You're back in the scope room. You can't just dissect them. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to do? I have to take the animal. They're all in these like little. They're this small, and only, you can't even see one in here. Yeah. So you have to decalcify that, prep them, and then embed them in paraffin wax. Mm -hmm. and then, so then you eventually have this little cube, and then you put it in this microtome, which I like to call my little salami slicer. Yeah, it looks like a, it's like a deli slicer, Yeah, it's a deli basically. slicer, and I feel bad, and I can just hear all the April coffin screams and my nightmares. But, <laughs> so you have this little worm here, and you have, mm -hmm. and you like, you spin it, and it comes forward, and then it like, slices. Mm -hmm. the animal and then like the paraffin helps make these ribbons mm -hmm. and then you lay them on slides and then you stain them but i don't know if you can see yeah they're here. super small but so like you make these ribbons and those are cross sections yeah so each of those like dots is, is this gets blown up yeah be something like that yes so then you get these pictures yeah. you figure out what's going on in each of these slices yes. and then you put all the slices together yes so basically you have you i'll show you right here so this is the the like hand-drawn working version of <laughs> and then you turn that into the picture yeah that i saw. scan it and i photoshop it yeah because uh. i mean how do you i mean you know it looks like oh, it's like oh it's colored pencils here but it's like you have to you have to take that and, yeah. and identify everything and like, I mean, you have to know histology, you have to know what everything looks yeah. like. And so, okay, so the one that you have already finished, mm -hmm. that is called? Okay, so it's a working name and it's Pronomenia, which is the 
genera that these are all in. Um, Monomania tanifa. And it's a New Zealand like sea monster. And they're like dragon looking and they live like in the water mm -hmm. and they s steal your wives. Oh, interesting. <laughs> or they can be good. Some are bad, some are good. And so then you have the second one that was also in your poster that you guys are a little bit yeah, touchy well, on of, of what. The name's probably going to be named after a unique characteristic, like their weird glands. Mm -hmm. um, they have pharyngeal glands that look like light bulbs or flower bulbs yeah. that I might name it or, after uh, that. Or Popeye fists. Or Popeye fists, I'd like to say when he uses beats. This has been a big debate of what she should Honestly, call it. Honestly, though, because it's such a good joke, that might be part of the name. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. But it can't, so the original plan for Megan. Yeah, it was gonna be. What was it gonna be like? Yeah, um, yeah, 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 Chungo, but uh. But it's, she is she associated with the project enough to where that would be I sketchy? Don't know. Yeah. Well, she's in the lab and she's. Maybe one day. Each so, of these is just like a task in it. In Decalcification, in dehydration, oh, yeah. infiltration, no. Fixing, so you fix it in like xylene, and then infiltration, and then embedding, and then sectioning, and then staining, and then this. And then this. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, histology! So the point is, you can't just discover, you can't just find yes. it. You and have to like, do ah. all of this, yeah. and that's what it takes. So, awesome. Love it.